This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Hi, this is Brandon Burgess with the Irrigator Technical Training School. And today we're going to go over double check backflow prevention assembly troubleshooting. So my equipment is going to be my differential pressure gauge, my bleed valve arrangement, my high side hose, and my sight tube. First thing we're going to do is we're going to notify, identify, inspect, and observe. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bleed my test box. Open and close one. Open and close two. Open and close three. Open and close four. So I'm going to go ahead and check the second check valve on our assembly. My sight tube goes to the number four test car. Fill the sight tube. Put my high side hose to my bleed valve arrangement. Connect to my number three test car. My high side hose goes to the high side of my gauge. I had an open test box three. I'm going to bleed it using the bleed needle valve. Hold it. Hold it to elevation, which is going to be the center line of the gauge, level with the side two. Close two, then one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open test cock number four. And as you can see, the water level in my side tube is actually lowering. This indicates that I have a leaky number two shutoff valve with downstream demand. So what we do is we lower our test kit to the center line of the assembly, get my differential pressure reading, which is at 2 psi, which is passing, and then I move on. So to continue, I can pass my number two check valve because it is holding back the pressure. I do have to fail my number two ch uh, shutoff valve and put in the notes that there's downstream demand, but the overall assembly is a pass.